here to start us off. The New England Patriots. I'm excited to hear your thoughts on this. Well, um, this that, was Groundhog here, let me, Day all over again. Let me let me tell every- you the the win total first, and then let me tell you what the team needs were according to these uh, different websites. Okay. Uh, Patriots win total right now is set at nine, and what their needs were were linebacker, defensive line, and edge rusher. So they were saying that they needed defensive help. I don't necessarily know that I agreed <laughs> I was about with to say, that. That was, that was the best defensive football last year, but okay, sure. But they, they did have some, you know, they got some guys that are aging. Um, yeah. So if you're wanting to build depth, then yeah. Um, so go ahead, tell me tell me your thoughts here, and then I'll, I'll dive in with what I think. Bill Belichick trading out of the first round, you couldn't even get action on. You just couldn't. Nobody even take that bet because it was guaranteed he's going to make everybody wait up all night all the Pats fans stay up waiting for our pick right when it gets to the Patriots pick. So I'm selling it. I'm out of here. And then on day two, what does he do? Yeah. He lets his dog make a pick and his dog trained very well by bill. <laughs> He's going to take some safety. Nobody's ever heard of from some school that nobody's ever heard of. That would be safety. Kyle Duggar from Lenore Ryan. Yeah, this is, this is exactly what, what I was expecting by the way. You this explained is, it multiple times last week. Uh, this it, that, guy it, is not a great drafter, and he just doesn't care what anybody – his board looks different than everybody else's board in the world. Yes. I kept trying to get people to understand, what if Tua falls and the Patriots get him? What if Tua falls and the Patriots get him? And all I kept thinking of is, you people are insane. You're just making articles up because the Patriots get clicks and Tua gets clicks. And so you're just putting them in the same article because you're lazy writers and you're terrible reporters. Yeah. Shame on you for writing fake stuff because that's what you do. (laughs) That's all you do. Because anybody who knows Bill knows he ain't moving up to take Tua because Bill just wants people to hate his franchise. Well, I'll tell you this. I I think a lot of it had to do with – he, which, by the way, at the Huddle Report, the Patriots dead last in value picks. They did not get value on a single pick that they made. Because Bill's all take, these, yeah. It, but if you ask Bill, they took guys that are Pats. They took yeah. Patriot guys. And and when I when I look at who they drafted, that's all I see. I see exactly Patriots guys. I mean, they drafted a kicker at one fifty nine. Uh, and they didn't even draft the like consensus best kicker on the board. No, they drafted a guy out of Marshall. And who, I think that's what Bill. I think if everybody else is saying one thing, Bill says the population's wrong. Yeah. Now, I think that is good. Sometimes I think sometimes you can show that you're smarter than everybody by being different. I also think the crowd can't be wrong every time, and. It's a frustrating thing if you want them to go out and get first-round draft picks and big stars for your team. They're just never going to do that. It's yeah. just not going to happen. Uh, McKinnon jumped in. He said, uh, uh, my boy Jarrett Stidham is going to be running the O, baby. I said last year at the draft he's severely underrated, and they yep. steal it where they got him. May not be an all-time great, but definitely capable of keeping them in the game and the hunt for a championship. And Michael said, I, I, I love how he just trolls the NFL with the dog in the chair. Not a fan of his, but i got to give him credit. Oh, no. The the dog, I was not expecting the Patriots to be the best meme of of the draft. I really wasn't. I thought it could happen because Bill does such a good deadpan, and and we've got so many great Bill memes where Bill's coming to get some busted-up player that nobody wants anymore that's old and aging. Um, It's great, but I didn't see this coming. The dog and making it look like the dog took a, you know, made the draft pick or whatever. It's just... It's just gr- unbelievable well, great on, t- from on top of that, it, toss in the fact that he set up his, his laptops at a kitchen table. Like, everybody else has got these extravagant setups. Oh, You're seeing all this stuff on social there's media. There's no doubt everybody else paid a designer and a decorator to come in and yes. make sure their shot looked right. And and his he just set it up in the corner of the kitchen, and here's my kitchen table. Here's, this my, is where I'm gonna be here's my MacBook. Here you go, Bill. And, and that's it. Yeah, that's the whole thing. Uh, as that's far it. as their picks go, Kyle Duggar, uh, you know, obviously, we didn't know anything if about him. you say you know anything about him, you're lying. Yeah. You're lying. Yeah. Obviously, His mom like, and dad know a lot about him. And His that's coaches about it. know a lot about him. 
And I, I would, I'd would i be right willing there. to bet that the Patriots know a lot about him. Yeah, Bill Bill probably knows a lot about it. That's yeah. it. That's the list. Uh, Josh Uche, edge rusher out of Michigan. Um, he was okay. Like, he, he was fine at Michigan, but he – I don't think he ever really stood out. Um, Anthony Jennings at Alabama, you know, I thought he was obviously Alabama kid, but, you know, I, I still think they kind of reached for him. Uh, Devin Asiasi from UCLA, tight end. Dalton Keene from Virginia Tech, another tight end. Uh, Justin Rohrwasser from Marshall, the kicker. Uh, Michael Onwenu from Michigan, offensive lineman. Offensive lineman Justin Heron from Wake Forest. They took... Linebacker Cash Malua from Wyoming. And then with their last pick, they got Dustin Woodard, the center from Memphis, who played basically every position in Memphis. And that's yep. what Bill likes. He's he's well, versatile. That, oh, I was about to say, that guy's a patriot. That guy's yeah. a patriot because everything. what is he good at? He's versatile. He can play all five positions on the offensive line. There aren't a lot of people that can play center, yeah. and that's nice. And then oh, yeah. Bill, Bill said, we'll teach you to play the game. We just need you to be able to play all the positions. Yeah. Um, there's nobody on this that really stands out nope. at all. Nope. And and I think this is like the perfect Patriot draft. As far this, as value this goes. Bill, this is par for the course. You know, give it a dislike, give it a thumbs down, give it a boring, give it a D, give it whatever grade you want to give it. It's exactly what I expected as a Pats fan. Every year I hope for something different. You know, I, I want Santa to be real. He's just not. Yeah, uh, draft grade, like, they, they had the lowest amount of value uh, possible for for somebody at the Huddle Report. But at Pro Football Focus, they got a B. And I think I think the B— I, Did like, Pro Football Focus give anybody a C or worse? Yeah, there were some teams— uh, did, Really? Yeah. Because I scrolled through all 32, and I didn't see it. Let's see. Hold on. I'm, I'm trying to find one. Let's see. Uh, C-plus was the Texans. So. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, a lot of – oh, the Titans. The Titans got a C-plus. I don't agree with that, but, you know, whatever. Uh, you know, I mean, look, I I think I like what the Patriots did. Like, I – you know, I'm not you a Patriots fan. you like fan. it is, is, is irrelevant. We don't know anything about any of these kids. If we think we do, we're wrong. Yeah. And – That's the biggest it, thing. It's just one of those deals where we just got to move on. We got to, you know, whatever. I I think I think they took a lot of guys that are uh, that can be developed and and that they're yes. going to have to be. Um, Dalton well, Keene from Virginia if, Tech was was legit. He's a fantastic tight end. Yeah, um, I was about to say no. They they got so and the, and the kid from UCLA. I mean, that's a that's a big athletic kid. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, they're trying to find another tight end. Um, at least they're they're trying to address that. They didn't address it last year. Um. I I don't know, man. I, I think some of these guys are athletes. A lot of these defensive players come from pedigrees that, that Bill respects and appreciates. And and it's just, I don't know. There's nothing sexy or flashy about it. It's boring. I mean, he Every took Pats a, he fan took in the world says kid. they dislike the draft. I would dislike the draft. But I also don't know that, you know. We don't know what they're going to turn into. Uh, he, he took a couple of hardball kids. He took a Saban kid. Um he knows that these kids are hard workers, and then you just hope you can get them in and, and develop them into, like, they're moldable. You can get them to be what you, and, you know, it, it's the same thing that you have always said about the Patriots, right? Like, it, they, you're not going to like the draft. You're not going to like what they do. Um, but draft it, it, it can fun for 31 good. teams. It yeah. really is. It, all 31 teams have a really good time on the draft. Yeah. Except I mean, even for, Giants fans can figure out a way to have a good time on the draft, and it, Gettleman will at least make it interesting. Bill, Bill's going to disappoint every year at the draft. You got that right. You have got that right. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one here. Uh, let's see. Michael said they take blue collar, hardworking kids. You can't beat that. Going to work, doing your job isn't sexy, but it is what's needed. True. Yeah, agreed. Oh, it's one of the reasons they win championships over and over and over again. Oh, a hundred percent. Hundred percent. And as soon as one of these blue collar kids want to get paid, Bill says, "Let somebody else pay you." Yep. <laughs> and we'll go draft somebody else. We'll go find another guy that nobody's ever heard of. That's uh, that's the way it goes. All right. Let's move into 